Um, guys, I really do think that we should all talk about, like, the elephant, obviously, that in the room. As your friend, I can guarantee that I have defended you and Teresa, especially in this latest rumor, 100%. I didn't see you defending them, so I don't know that that happened. You guys have known me for the longest. I want you to stop listening and really stand up for your friend. But when did you stick up for us? Kim D. Okay, perfect example. I got you. Ready? Stand up. Go. Kim D. She's screaming in her face. Mm -hmm. She's yelling at me. Girl. I simply look at you and you and I say, are you guys really still going to walk in this show? Yes. yes. This is what I get. Right yeah, Melissa Gorga, we are going to walk in this show. It's not about you, Melissa Gorga. And I felt very bad when that was over. I felt very I'm, bad. This is the first time you're telling me that, because I don't know if Why I haven't that? seen you. That night, Melissa, you couple up with Margaret and Danielle. Yes. Going against us. Talking about me is the same lips that be asked. Kiss line up. But you have to understand one thing. In our lives, there are going to be people who don't like me in your life, and vice versa. <laughs> I'm going to use Margaret as an example. Just recently at Fresco's, for us to be in an argument and all of a sudden for her to use Hitler as a comparison, it's inappropriate. Can you guys admit it? It was an analogy. I didn't compare her to Hitler. Well, what That's what I said. Lonnie, Lonnie okay, Stephanie said, said, Hitler would have been good to me. Does that make him a good Lonnie, person? Unless we're discussing the Holocaust, no. Hitler's name should not Lonnie, come up. Like you're you. getting off track. It's an analogy. I am the daughter of a Holocaust survivor. It's inappropriate. Is it, even though her family's Jewish? Margaret's not. Margaret's not. She said Adolf Hitler wouldn't have killed me, but he would have killed me. My son is Jewish. My children are Jewish. Honey, I know many people who marry Jews who can't stand Jews. Wait a minute. All out. Off limits. You're pulling below the back. How dare you say I can't stand Jews? How dare me? That is fucking bullshit. You're anti-Semitic. Moving. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Sit your ass down. Tell the bitch to sit down. Guys, she's shaking. Tell the bitch to sit down. Do you think this is acceptable? Way below the belt. Hitler, what's next? Melissa's making just a You don't tell me to shush. What are you doing? No, shush! I'm not listening to you, Danielle. Done and done. He is a historic figure. Stop it, Danielle. You know her for six seconds. Stop. I don't need her to get it, and I don't need Danielle to get it. Why? Because you don't know. You're disgusting. That's up. That's up. You're up. I'm done. Yes. You are a bitch. You're a fucking bitch. And you're Shame. You okay? No, I'm not okay. Yeah. Don't don't it's it's not talk. Talk. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Siggy, wait, you listen to me right now and calm down and take a walk with me. You guys just relax a minute. You're gonna try to rationalize an irrational person? You don't I know you're not anti-Semitic. She I... just said that to be vicious. When she feels insecure, she has to call people names, take pot shots. I know. I'd like to see Melissa and Teresa defend us. Once again, we stand alone. Take a deep breath. I'm f***ing done with her. I don't even know why Dolores would even f***ing talk to her. She's a f***ing nut. Are you okay? Well, it was an epic ending. Maybe you say more.